Hey everyone, I'd like to show you this waffle maker and just a little bit on the functions and settings. The instruction booklet is a little bit vague, but this is so user friendly, it's not a problem at all. So I just plugged it in and you have two indicator lights. You have your ready uh, light here, which is green because the dial switch is at the coldest. I mean, it's not even to the number one setting here. So that's why this is showing you that it's ready. This is just your power that the waffle iron is on. So watch when I go up to the first notch and setting, see how that light went off because this is in preheat mode. So um, let's say I like my waffles really golden brown and toasty. So I'm gonna go to this mark over here. So now it's preheating so the light isn't is no longer green. When it is preheated to this setting of, of darkness over here, this will turn green. And you have a little latch right here on the side. So once you pour your batter into the plate, you're gonna to wanna to close that and latch it. And that way um, the lid is on evenly and you'll get a nice even toasting of the waffle and, and baking of it. So I'm going to uh, mix up a batch and I'm gonna pour it in and I'm gonna cook it and then I will come back and let you see the product. But in the meantime, um, that is how you will use this waffle iron. So I'll be back and show you the finished product. Okay, so we're not quite yet to the finished product, but I did want to just uh, share with you. I did make a batter. Um, we eat clean in our house. So this is a batter made with almond flour, cassava flour, a little bit of honey, four eggs, and some baking powder, baking soda, and... Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the pour the mix in and I'll show you how to do that. Um, although I'm sure I don't need to show you, but I just want you to be uh, mindful of the amount to put in as far as uh, this particular model is concerned. You don't want it to overspill. Although um, in this model, what I really appreciate as you can see on the edges, there are little kind of reservoirs right here. So if it does spill over, you have that to catch uh, the excess batter that you've got spilling over. So um, you always have that fallback, but hold on just a moment and I will get this going for you. Okay, so now um, the ready light is on. Uh, it didn't take very long from when I uh, paused the video earlier um, for this light to come on that the machine was preheated and ready to go when I had it at this mark here. So I'm going to use the quarter, uh, quarter cup, just a scant below a quarter cup of batter to start off with here. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. Looks like it could use just a little bit more. The batter's dark because I added a little bit of cinnamon in it as well. I really uh, like cinnamon and waffles. It just gives it a nice extra boost of flavor. Just going to make sure I get all of the little squares covered here. So it is a, it is a good quarter of a cup. So um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put the le uh, lid down and I'm going to attach the lever. Now you see the ready light went out because it, that's the preheat, uh, that was the preheat that it's ready to go to cook. So now once you close the lid, the light goes off and when it turns green again, that'll be your indication that it is baked or cooked to what setting you have it um, on this dial here. So as you can see, it's coming out a little bit. So maybe you do want to go a little bit less than a quarter of a cup after all, um, but we'll see how much how much there is once it's all said and done. So I'll be back. Okay, folks, this went really fast. So you can see I have it at this mark here. That light has already gone off. That little bit has come out. So we were after all correct. See, there's barely any spill over at all. So it is a quarter of a cup, it's perfect. Um, and there are your beautiful waffles. I'm going to put the video down now 
say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I'll take a picture of them on a plate once I get them out. Oh, and I did uh, baste just a little bit of coconut oil onto the grates um, before I poured the batter in on both the top and the bottom. So hopefully we won't have anything sticking. So I do hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. I highly recommend this. Take good care.